What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, let's talk about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre technical test. And I mean, they did all the work really for me. I'm just going to re say it and throw in a couple opinions. They literally did a community post that says technical test explained, and they go over everything you actually need to know about it. So let's kind of just read over it. And it starts obviously May 25th, right? That's something that they throw in rather early. But of course, that is the start date. So how long will the test last it'll last through the weekend so that thursday through the sunday which platform it's only on steam i have seen people ask that question on twitter and they've had to kind of respond where it's not going to be on consoles right so it's only going to be on pc what are the specs let's just show it to you guys you can slow down the video stop the video for 1080p 30 FPS, 60 FPS, and then 4K 30 and 4K 60. How do you participate or sign up? You can wish list it on Steam. I did it the very first day, so God willing, hopefully I'm able to enter this thing. Wish listing the game is the best way to stay informed for when the test goes live. Are they working with content creators? Yes, you can reach out on Evolve PR. I actually had already done that a long, long time ago. How will I know if I get chosen to be part of the tech test? You'll receive an email when you're added to it. You'll see a status on the store page for the base game as well so check your emails and check steam is it public yes the test will be free for the public how many seats they're limited there's no exact number right now can you create content this was important for me and now you know right there we got the exact answer there is no nda you can stream the test you can create and upload that is awesome i think that's a very um modern like a progressive kind of thing to do right no ndas it's not like people get to play the test but you can't talk about them them. They're just letting creators go. And I think that's only going to help the game. Is it free? Yes, it's free. What's the difference between a tech test and a beta? This is something I think people need to be aware of and including myself in, in case we get frustrated with it. And let's just kind of read it. So tech test is different than a beta in which a tech test is focused on stress testing the game and backend services, allowing our team to adjust server load and make any adjustments prior to launch. Now, the reason I, I want to spend a little bit of time here, right? So I think the reason this is important is it's very possible the game comes out or the technical test, right? It's very specifically the technical test in May. And what if the servers aren't good or what if it takes forever? Or, you know, you can't load in as Leatherface. You can't load in as the survivors. Um, that's going to be, I think, a problem for a lot of people. And I mean, I don't think anybody would be happy if that happens, right? Where if half the days, it's just basically unplayable. But to their credit, that is kind of the point, right? They want to see, okay, is it unplayable? Can we handle? it can the servers handle it so there is a reason even if things go really bad there's i guess still a positive that comes out from it right and that's just something i think we all need to be you know aware okay this is maybe the most important what is it what's the actual content in it so it's going to be pvp matches with anybody else that got the game you will be allowed to access the family map so one map Players can expect to play as the victims, which is, you know, what they're calling the survivors, Leland, Connie, Sonny, and Anna. Uh, for family, players will be able to choose from the cook, the hitchhiker, and Leatherface. Okay, so there's your playable characters, there's your map, and it's just PvP, you know, you against them. What are the main purposes of the tech test? It's, again, to see how the game handles the player base, the servers, the gameplay, and the ins and outs. This will not only be for players, but will also be for them uh, to see what they need to do for when the game comes out in August. Is this build close to what the game is? The build is the latest build of Texas Chainsaw, but it's not the final version. On release day, the game will be in its finalized version. Again, that, that is kind of important for both a pro and a con potentially to them, right? So if the game is really great, you'll say, oh, sweet, right? The game's got it all figured out. If the game's a disaster, and by a disaster, I mean it literally doesn't work well. It's, it's unbalanced. It doesn't feel good. Yes, it's not the final version, but this is the version three months before the game comes out. And then you have to think, okay, can they fix these things in time? The answer would probably be no for gigantic things. So we'll talk about this in other videos as we get closer. But that is very important to note that, you know, again, technical server things aside, if the game's good, awesome. If the game is like really bad, let's just go to the huge extremes. If it's really bad, that is not a good sign because they this is it like this is the game and yes they can change it a little but the, this is basically the game that we we're going to get in a couple more months with that being said if you took away anything from this i am extremely extremely excited for this game i cannot wait to play the technical test and i got a lot of plans on the channel for uh for content so stick with the channel subscribe all that jazz and i hope to see you all on the next one